Hello. In this video, we will learn about and practice some programs on primitive type char and character class in Java. In most of the string programs, you are required to either break the string into words or characters and then do further manipulation on them. Hence, it is important that you understand how char behaves first. First, let's look at primitive type char. There are various ways to declare a char variable. You can create it directly or assign a value to it during creation, which can be character, number, or escape sequence in single quotes, or it can be typecasted integer. This is because Java uses number codes to represent characters. You could be asked a question on how to declare a char variable or choose the correct method to create a char variable. Here, always remember, char only has single quotes and typecasting is required to convert into char. Let's learn more about ASCII character set. Initially, the numbers which were used were from 0 to 127 to represent English letters and numbers. Now, it could not represent codes of other languages such as Latin, Hindi, Arabic, etc. That's why Java uses Unicode. It utilizes 16-bit from 0 to 65,536, which is 2 raised to the power 16, and defines a fully international character set representing almost all languages. From 0 to 127, it still has the same ASCII codes for backward compatibility. You need to learn the codes for English alphabets and digits as you can expect questions around it. Number 0 to 9 have ASCII code from 48 to 57, capital A to Z is from 65 to 90, and small a to Z is from 97 to 122. Let's take a look at some conversion questions. If you need to get ASCII code for capital A, you can typecast the char into int. Here, n will print 65. And if you need to convert ASCII code 97 to char, you can typecast it into char. Here, c will have value small a. Also note, the way to convert uppercase to lowercase is by adding 32. So here we have added 32. So ASCII code will become 65 plus 32, which is 97, which is the code for small a. Similarly, minus 32 is used to convert lowercase to uppercase. Here 97 minus 32 gives 65, which is capital A. So you can see that you can use char as integer data type on which you can perform arithmetic operations. For example, you could be asked what is printed in this code snippet. Here ch is using increment operator, so it will display the next character b. Now let's take a moment to understand escape sequences. An escape sequence in Java is also a character literal with a backslash. It holds a special meaning to the compiler. It could be to insert non-printable characters such as tab, space, new line, etc. Or it could be to print characters which have special meanings like single or double quotes. You should know some of these common escape sequences which are typically asked. Now let's take a look at character class. It is part of wrapper classes and is included in java.lang. It wraps around primitive data type char. To create an object of type character, we can use any of the following methods. You can either use new or value of method or you can use autobox feature wherein Java automatically converts primitive type into wrapper class without the use of constructor. It has many static methods. I will cover a few which we will use. First one is isLetter. It returns true if char passed is a letter, otherwise it returns false. Now in the question, you could get a char like C in quotes, a digit, or typecasted Unicode numbers, or even a escape sequence. Do note that in this C is char, and 65 is char as it is ASCII value for capital A while remaining two are not. So only in these cases, true is printed. Next is is digit. It returns true if character passed is digit, otherwise it returns false. Do check 
Over here also we have used type casted ASCII code for one. For answering these kind of questions, you need to know the ASCII codes I shared earlier. Next is is lowercase and is uppercase. It returns true if char is lowercase or uppercase respectively. Here in some sample questions, different variation of same letter is used to check on the output value. Next is is white space. It returns true if ch is white space. Important point to note here is white space is not just space character. It also includes some of the escape sequences we saw earlier like tab, line feed, form feed, carriage return, etc. So you see in the question below, along with space, slash n and slash t also return true. Now all of the methods we saw till now took in care and returned a boolean value. Now we will see two uppercase and two lowercase methods. It converts the case of the character passed. Here also you can be given a question where ASCII values are being typecasted. Here you have to correctly identify what character the value stands for and then convert the case and give the answer. Character class also has two string method which is used to convert from character into string class. Here the data type has changed from character to string. Now let's look at some short questions that can be asked on character class. Some questions are just based upon identifying the return type. Like what is the return type for these character methods? Or you might be asked what is the data type of variable x and y in this code segment. These type of questions requires you to make sure you know the syntax of all the methods well. A quick summary will show all of the methods have parameters as char. All methods starting with is return boolean. All convert case methods return char. Only two string returns string. Now if you see the questions again, you would be able to answer them correctly if you remember the previous table. Next type of questions are where you might be asked to write a code segment. Like write a statement to determine if character is uppercase or lowercase or digit etc. Here I do know you will be able to identify the method to be used correctly. However, some common errors I see student doing is writing ch dot method name. This is wrong. Here please remember all character methods are static methods and they take the character as parameter and you need to write method name along with the class name as shown. Next kind of questions are where you are asked to give output of some code segment. Like what is the output of this println statement? Here please do not be in a hurry and check whether it is is or to statement. Remember the syntax table and then give the answer. It could be a twist question with some escape sequences and you need to remember to handle them correctly. The question could also be arithmetic operations on ASCII codes. For this you need to make sure you remember the ASCII codes I shared earlier. If you see this example over here, x plus is equal to 32 is just changing the case from capital A to small a. Then small a is assigned to y and is incremented by 2. So the alphabet is now small c and these two values are getting printed. In our next video, we are going to learn about string class methods and practice short questions that can be asked on string. Thank you and goodbye.